the components required for this experiment are nod mcu board dst11 sensor mq135 sensor lcd display i2c converter breadboard connecting cable and connecting wires Now log into the bling.cloud website. Then go to developer zone and here click on new template. Here give the template name Air Quality Monitoring and select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi Fi and then click on the done button. Now go to data streams. And here go to new data stream and select virtual pin. Here we need to create three variables. The first one is for temperature. And select the pin as V0 and data type as double. Here select the unit of the temperature which is Celsius and the maximum value is 100. And click on the create button. Now again select new data stream and select virtual pin. And the second variable is for humidity. And here the pin is V1. And here also data type is double. And select the unit as percentage. And maximum value is 100. And click on the create button. And now the third variable. Again go to data stream. And select virtual pin. And the variable name is air quality. And here the pin is V2. And here also data type is double and the maximum value is 1000 and select the unit as ppm and click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and drag three gauge widgets. And go to settings of the first one and here select the data stream as temperature and click on the save button and now go to second one and here select the data stream as humidity we can change the color if we need and click on the save button and now go to the third one and here we need to select air quality and here click on the save button now go to events so this is to get the alert if the uh, air quality value is above a particular value and here click on add new event and here we need to enter the event name. So in our program, we gave the event name as pollution underscore alert. So copy this and paste here. Here we need to give any message. We can give the description as bad air. And we need to change the limit to one second. And click on this show event in notifications button. And also we need to enable this send event to timeline button so that the events will display on the timeline in blink. Now go to notifications menu and click enable notifications. So here we need to select email to device owner and also push notifications to device owner. And here also we need to select this deliver push notifications as alerts and enable the notifications management. Now click on the create button. 
Now we can save the template. Now go to this devices and here click on new device and here then select from template. Here we can see the template which we created now. So select this one and click on the create button. Now we need to copy the template ID, template name and authentication token and paste in our program. Copy this and paste here. And then we need to enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Now we can set up the ThinkSpeak account. Now go to thinkspeak.com and here click on the sign in button. Here we need to enter the email address and click on the next button and enter the password and then click on the sign in button. Now go to channels and click my channels. Here click new channel. Here we can create a new channel now and I am giving the name channel name as air quality monitoring. So like we did in the blink, we need to create three fields here. The first one is for temperature and the second one is for humidity and the third one is for air quality. And here click save channel button. So here by default three charts are added and we can add three more widgets. So click add widgets and here we can add the gauge widget. Select this gauge and click next button. So here we can enter the name as temperature for the first one. So which is assigned to field one and maximum value is 100 and we can enter the units Celsius and click create button. Now we again add the next widget and here also select the gauge, click next button. Here we can give the name as humidity, which is assigned to field number 2. And here also maximum value is 100 and the unit is percentage. And then click on the create button. Now the third and the final one, again click on add widgets, select gauge, click next button. Here give the name as air quality, which is assigned to field 3 and the maximum value is 1000 and the unit is ppm and click on the create button. Now go to this API keys and copy this API key and paste in our program. So replace this with the new API key. Now we need to upload the program. So for that select the board from tools, go to board here select ESP8266 board and select node MCU 1.0 and then select the port and now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP8266 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the node MCU board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. So once you open the app we can see the template which we created from the Blink web dashboard. So click on the template which is air quality monitoring. Go to the settings icon. Click the plus button. Here we need to add three gauge widgets. Now click on the first gauge and here select the data stream as temperature. And then go to design and here give the label name. Now go back and click on the second gauge and select the data stream as humidity and go to design and here also give the title as humidity. Now go back and select the third gauge and here select the data stream as air quality and here also go to design and give the title as air quality. Now go back and again go back. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.
we will also get the alert in the email.